Can you hear me? I can. How are you doing oh, today? Good. How are you? Good. You're looking great. Well, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to, we'll just wait a couple minutes. We'll chat okay. a bit while we wait for more people to come on. There's 13 people signed up. If oh, we get, if we get six of those 13, I'll be happy. People, something always happens where they're, uh, something comes up. You know, right. a lot of them are working in their salons, so, they, yeah. you know, they have to deal with customers and stuff. Tell yeah. me a little bit about your business. Um, so I own Turbo Tan in Concord, New Hampshire, and okay. um, we purchased it April 1st of 2022. Um, Dana Pierce owned it for 21 years, and uh, it's been very successful business over the last 21 years. Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um I think this year's numbers are a little bit different than the last two years, but um, I kind of anticipated that a little bit. Um, so, but we're, 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 we're kind of between 2019 and 2021 numbers right around there. Okay. Um, so 22 was a phenomenal year. It was sure, all that incredible. Yeah, all that pent up yeah. demand. Yep. Yep. Was a lot uh, of extra money. A lot of extra yep. money people had. Yep. So yep. but yep. we're we, uh we're trudging along. That's that's awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. We got a couple more people are, are okay. joining us here one by one. But that's great. Yeah, we've had the same experience this year mm -hmm. is um it was doing great for the first four months of the year and then it slowed down for us. Mm -hmm. So we're we're about even for the year mm -hmm. than we were last year, but you're right. The past two years were were pretty nice after COVID, all that pent mm -hmm. up demand and some extra cashola in their pockets. They were yeah, they were doing good. Michelle, you here? Elizabeth? Michelle says good morning. She doesn't have her audio on. She's just texted. Uh, okay texted that um, Elizabeth has her mic off as well, but you're all welcome to um, ask questions during this session. I'm going to uh, talk to your pain points. You all put down some stuff that are concerning you. I'm only gonna be able to hit about three of them. I'm gonna hit three of the most common pain points that you all were talking about. If you have some individual stuff Either I didn't cover it or you'd like to cover it with me. You can always do a free 30-minute um, session with me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you get one of those if you want to. Uh, after that, I have a coaching program if you want something more than that. All right. I think I will go ahead and get started since we have four of the 13 uh, people on. That's uh, pretty good to start by in a couple more minutes, we'll probably we'll probably be up to six or seven people. But I think what I'll do is just get this started. Everyone's time is valuable. I'm going to share my screen with Soft. everyone. And I always want to learn something. Good. Who was that who just said that? Elizabeth? Yeah, I did say something. Sorry. Right. Perfect. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. Let's see if uh, you're in the right place. Are you feeling overwhelmed, working excessive hours? Are you exhausted by the whiners and slackers you hire? Are you struggling with all the hats you have to wear? And are you frustrated with the poor work ethic? You probably are in the right place. Uh, who am I? My name is Don Dark Horse Kermath. I gave that name to myself, the Dark Horse if you're familiar with uh, horse racing, you'll know what the dark horse is. It's the horse that nobody expected to win. And that's um, that's my motto is uh, I come up from behind. Nobody expects me to win. I started from nothing. I grew up in a in a children's home, uh, was an A, B, C, D, occasionally student um, and uh went to college and, and did all right, started businesses almost immediately, didn't uh, really do anything with my college degree for very long, 
even when I did do stuff with my college degree, I still had side businesses, always a side hustle. But right now I'm a three times uh, new release, number one new release author on Amazon. I have three books on Amazon and all three of them went to number one for a new release. I've been hiring superstars and whiners since 1988. That's when I hired my first employee. I had businesses before where I was the only employee, but in 1988, I hired my first. I currently live in Front Royal, Virginia. It's at the northern end of the Shenandoah National Forest. Um, if you're familiar with where that is in the country, but my salons, my two stores are 714 miles away in Champaign, Illinois, and that's in the center of the state of Illinois. And I know some of you have expressed to me the desire to be able to operate your businesses from afar as well. And I can essentially run my businesses anywhere I have phone or internet access. In fact, this morning, I had my weekly meeting with my managers, uh, which is one of my two managers. One is on paid vacation right now. Uh, I don't know if you uh, have managers or not for your stores, but paid vacation is something that will help you keep them if you want to, to keep your managers. And I and how do I do that? I use business systems um, to do that. So I have become a business system and employee turnover reduction expert as a consequence. So this is what we're going to cover here today. I know a lot of you um, saw this promotion that I had where I'm giving away this 31-page document on how to conduct a free TAN event. One of the topics of the free TAN event, uh, I'm sorry, one of the topics of my manager meeting today was a free TAN event we're going to hold in September. We try to hold them twice a year, one in the season and one in the off season. So this is our playbook. We are gonna change it up a little bit. Normally we do it over a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're gonna do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just to see how it goes. One of the issues we've had in the past is getting labor for the event. And a lot of the staff want weekends off. So it's hard to double up on your staff on a weekend. So we're going to try and run it a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday event and um, get that. But some of you have said that you're having trouble getting new clients or we call them guests, like in the hospitality industry. And some of you have said that the sales are slow right now. This is a great way to handle both of those things because the way we do the free TAN event is the TAN is free when you come in with someone else and they don't have to be new clients. You just have to come in with a buddy. Come in with a buddy and you both get the TAN. We allow any level with the exception of our Sunless. The Sunless is half price during the free TAN event. And that's simply because we only have one Sunless booth in each of our locations and they're very popular and we don't want to just have them uh, so that our existing clients can't use them and they're they're waiting too long. You don't want to upset your, your existing clients. You don't want to be like the phone company where they are, you know, doing everything for new customers and nothing for their existing customers. So that's your free download. You're going to go to this website right here, darkhorsesecrets.com forward slash FTE. Everybody's going to get this document. So if you don't want to write this down, I'm going to email it to everyone. You go to... You'll go to that site and it will look like this. You'll just enter your email and it'll immediately send you a link to the document. So you'll have access to that. That is how you can make, you can boost your sales right now is hold a free TAN event. Um, I've been watching other salons who've been doing free TAN events on all of the social media pages it is not uncommon for them to bring in ten, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars over the course of a, the three-day event. So this is that's very exciting, great opportunity for you to get a, like a an injection of cash flow when you need it most during the off season. Um, can speed things up if you do it, plan it soon. Then you get also the benefit that all the new clients that you bring in now also increase your monthly 
EFT revenue if you're doing memberships. And I do recommend that is something that you do if you're not doing it. It's constantly bringing in membership. Are any of you planning a free TAN event? Jennifer, you're planning a free TAN event. Anyone else? I don't have one on the books yet. Okay. Is that Michelle? Yes. Yeah. I, okay. I do a free uh, TAN week on my website. Okay. How are you? And it's been extremely successful. Good. Good. Yep. For bringing in new clients. Let's try yes. that again. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're all set. So mm -hmm. that's the, that's the, how you can bring in new guests and how you can sort of give yourself an injection during this slow things as things are slowing down during Jason, or maybe you're, noticing like a lot of salons are noticing after the spring your your summer so far has been slower than it was last year or the year before a lot of that has to do with the fact that the pent-up demand has sort of been satisfied and also all of that free money that our tax dollars are paying for has uh, has dried up now a lot of you are asking questions about lotion sales and if you have not done so, this is going to be a shameless plug for my book on Amazon. If you have not purchased this yet, it's it's Lotion Sales Secret, the surefire system to maximize lotion sales without being manipulative or demeaning. You might have... I my body and soul. You might have heard in the beginning I said that I was an A, B, C, and sometimes D student. I was never a great student. And um, what I have done in my entire business career is I have stood on the shoulders of giants yeah. and seen what other people are doing and document it and make it my own. But one of the things that I enjoy doing is I enjoy writing. So consequently, uh, I do see that you texted in at 12, scene of 1245 of work. Um, and it Ky was like, Kylie, it came through. Okay. So you will, you want to schedule it. So. Hey, if you guys are having conversations, go ahead and mute your um, mute yourself if you're having a conversation with someone, so that we aren't hearing your conversation during the during the call. All right, now we have what you're going to get in lotion sales secrets are lots of techniques to improve your lotion sales. And of the salons who have bought this book, I'm getting huge, huge kudos. Lots of reviews online about how they're able to turn around their sales, how they're able to train their staff using this documentation. There's also a thing in the book about how to, con there's a couple things in there on how to combat uh, online diversion. And I call it cash for clunkers. It's not my name. Someone else came up with it. Like I said, I stand on the shoulders of, of giants. This is the room poster. We used to do this 24 seven. We don't do it 24 seven anymore. We now do it on occasion, but it's really up to you. But what, the way it works is you tell them, we will take any lotion you bring in. It can be Jergens. I don't care. If you bring it in um, and part with it and you can have a nice container to hold them in because it's a great way when people see a container of old lotions, it's a great conversation starter. Just do something tasteful. They see the container of these lotions. You can put this poster or something like it on the front of it. Now we do a 25% discount. I've seen salons go up to 50%. I think that's excessive, but um, I'm not gonna tell you how to run your business. I'm just telling you how um, I've done it and how other successful salons have done it. And they can. it can be another salon quality lotion. It could have been a lotion they bought online. It could have been a lotion that they bought with us. We we try to make it as easy as possible, have as few limitations as possible. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult to train your staff. So you want to be able to make this um, as, as um, teachable and repeatable and scalable as possible. So this is a great way to sort of combat diversion and or buying Walmart lotions with, inside your salon. You get them to come in and yes, your margins are gonna be cut a little bit, but a sale is better than no sale, all right? 
So that's number two. That is, that's out of Lotion Sales Secret. That very concept is in the book, but there are many, many other concepts in the book as well. We have copies, of course, because I wrote the book for all the staff. They get to take it home. We ask them to bring it to meetings. We train every two weeks. It's very important. You're training your staff constantly. Never assume they have learned anything. There's nothing that you taught them once that they, they have figured it out. It takes time. You have to repeat over and over and over and over again. Um, it, it's sometimes to the point of frustration, but just let me tell you, it's well worth it once it starts to click in. We have a high school student who has just now started to come into her own. It has taken her almost a year, but man, when she figured it out, she's now one of our, she's not our ever our top salesperson, but she's definitely in the top 80% or our top 20% of our, of our salespeople. And that's a high schooler. And so it was because we were persistent. We kept on training her in these techniques over and over again until they start to really, really sink in. And so links to the book and links to that poster will be in this document. They're in blue here. So when you get this document in your email, you'll be able to go through. Uh, there will be a link to replay right here. If you miss something or if you showed up late, there will be a replay link here. As soon as I get it uploaded to YouTube, I'll insert the link here and you will be able to watch this as well uh, again if you needed to. And then finally, I've had a few salons um, talk about how to get employees and how to keep them. So those are two things that um, you will want to, um, again, another shameless plug for another one of my books. You'll want this book, Recruit, Hire, and Retain Superstar Part-Time Employees. It's on Amazon. It's my number two selling book. The lotion sales secret is crushing the sales. I never thought that um, I'd be able to sell so many copies of that book as I have. This book has done uh, very well for, for me and for all the small business owners out there. And this crosses all small businesses. It, it doesn't matter uh, whether you're of a tanning salon or a restaurant, you will be able to use all the information in this book for recruiting, hiring, and retaining superstar part-time employees. But what I wanted to, to just cover in here is that there are two techniques. One, there were two questions. One was on how to get employees and one was how to retain them. And so let's talk about getting employees. And I have a policy where we are constantly 24 seven hiring. This is my salon's website. Um, there, it's very basic, very simple. There's not much to it. There's just a simple menu up at the top, but if you're interested in hiring, I have my website here for hiring. I created a video that talks about working for us, pretty much the same that's in the video is covered here in this text down below. When we write a job posting, we write with excitement in mind because people want to be entertained. They want to be excited, right? I'm hiring superstars like you, right? I'm not saying I have a bed cleaning position, right? I'm not saying, you know, I'm looking for someone to clean my toilets, right? That, that doesn't cut it doesn't cut it and it certainly doesn't cut it anymore if it ever did work. And we let them know not only what we are looking for, but we also let them know what we are not looking for. Here we get a little bit cute, just says no belly acres, no bumps on the log. You'll be expected to clean constantly, serious. No, we always are cleaning, right? Set that expectation up front and right away. And that will eliminate a lot of people who will be applying for your, for your job. And we go through and we talk about it. And if you go to my website, you can steal all that stuff for your own job postings. And we use Facebook and we use Indeed. And we don't pay for either of them. We have a free account on Indeed. And of course, Facebook doesn't charge for job postings. 
You'll notice then on the right, I talk about the benefits, why you should want to work for us. And we happen to pay more than the industry standard, but if your area supports whatever you're paying, that's great, but you may have to consider paying more to get quality candidates. And then I have a very short application. I don't want to, I'm not, I don't care where they have worked uh, in my application. I don't care who their best friends are. I don't care any about all those things. I have, just want to know their name, their phone number, a great email, mm -hmm. their best email, their address, because I want to know how close they live to my stores, when they can start, what is their availability. We often hire students, so I want to know if they have any after school activities that I'm going to have to compete with. And then am I going to have another job to compete with? And then I want to know how many hours you're working. Very, very simple. If you put too much information in there, people are not going to fill it out. And, and we get these um, coming in all the time. And if you find a superstar, you should hire the superstar. You should not, uh, you should find a position for someone if you find a great employee. And we use the same tactic on Indeed and Facebook. Right now, because um, we're not in a pure hiring mode, we don't. We have our Facebook and our D and our Indeed ads shut off, but this is on twenty four seven. So we're always getting applications coming in through our website. Um, and here's what else happens: as soon as they enter the stuff, they now go into my new client email drip campaign. These people who are filling out job applications are often have never been to my store. So send them an offer, send them an offer. Uh, you know, for Michelle, she has the free week, send them the free week offer, have them come in. That's what we do. We send a new client offer to them so they can come in and use the salon and maybe we don't hire them, but now it becomes another opportunity for us to get a new client. So our employee recruiting system is also doubles as a new client recruiting system. So you can do this when you build systems, they can interrelate and they become on auto. Like I don't have to maintain this. I don't have to do anything with it. I had to set it up and forget it. That's it. And every week I get the emails, they come in. I look at the apps. If I think they're good, I will ask the managers to make sure that they follow up. But my manager is fully responsible for doing all the hiring. Most of the time, I don't have to do anything from here. But today during the manager meeting, I did bring up one employee. They had great availability. It, you know, it looked like a person that would work well for us just on paper. I wanted to make sure that the manager followed up. But otherwise, I, I don't do any of that. All right, so that's the three things Oh, retention. So now how do you retain employees? Well, one of the way to keep employees is to make sure that you are hiring superstars. And if you don't hire a superstar by accident and you have a slacker or a whiner or someone with too many personal commitments, it's very important for you to get rid of them right away. That is an employee retention strategy, is getting rid of um, whiners, slackers, and people with too many personal commitments right away. But how do you do that um, and avoid having to pay expensive unemployment insurance rates because you let an employee go and they file for unemployment claims? Well, I have another system. It's called the Progressive Discipline System that I use, um, all of my coaching clients get the system as part of the program. So if you were to join my coaching program later, you would get it as part of the system. And what this does for you is it gives you a system by which you deliver reprimands to your employees in such a way that one, you can use it to retrain them, two, you're, you're documenting offenses that they have committed against uh, any of your standards of conduct or policies. And three, later on, when you have, if you ever have to terminate them, you will use all of that documentation and submit it to the unemployment office 
and contest the unemployment insurance claim. Because if you let them go, I like to call it setting them free, setting them free to find something that's more suited for their personality or their skills. I, I, I don't like the term to fire my employees. But we use the term to set them free. And if you get the book, Recruit, Hire, and Retain Superstar Part-Time Employees, I cover that in great detail on how to properly set free an employee so that you can uh, avoid un excess amount of unemployment insurance. Now, I don't know how many of you know how much you're paying for unemployment insurance. We pay the lowest rate because we contest, we successfully contest every one of our unemployment insurance claims. Do Are any of you out there aware of what your unemployment insurance rate is? Are you paying the, the smallest amount? Are you paying in the middle? Do you know what, you know, anyone? Jennifer, you're muted right now if you're I'm unmuting you. I want to say it's like $700 a year. 700 a year. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, mm -hmm. It probably could be less. It probably could be in the $200 range if you had the lowest possible rate. You mm -hmm. said you were in Connecticut. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. So um, that might be a state that has a naturally mm -hmm. high unemployment mm -hmm. insurance rate. Just what I know about New Hampshire. But yeah. Um, you you might have um, a opportunity to pay less. Have you had uninsurance claims against you? No. So then you are probably paying the lowest rate possible in in New in New Hampshire because normally, mm -hmm. if you don't have any claims or any successful claims, you have the the lowest rate, um, the lowest rate possible for those things. So this is a great way, to, <coughs> and I've automated it. It's now a, it's a Google sheet. You use one sheet for every employee, for every offense. It starts with the oral reprimand. The oral reprimand is documented. I know it sounds strange. It's an oral reprimand, but even though it's an oral reprimand, you still want a documented copy of it. Then you move on to the first written reprimand for the same offense. Let's say they refuse to clean toilets. Okay, that's insubordination. So they do it the first time, the second time, you said, hey, you know, you didn't do it or you didn't do it right. You were unwilling and unable. You documented the date it happened. And then the third time that you have to give them a reprimand, that's when we usually will terminate the employee. We call that the termination reprimand. And the, the employee always gets a copy of the two written reprimands, the first one and the second one. They don't always accept that sometimes they're upset about receiving a written reprimand, but it doesn't matter. They don't have to take it, but you you should offer it to them. And then give that to them. Um, and then later, if they file for an unemployment insurance claim, you're going to use that to defend yourself that you tried, they understood you had a policy, they didn't follow it, you tried again, they understood, they didn't follow it. And you go from there, and this is a great way to save a lot of money because if your rate goes up, that's against all your labor, not just the one employee who um, did that. All right. Do you have any questions before we wrap this up? Hey, Dawn. Yes. Do you know why your unemployment insurance would go up if you've never had a claim against you? Yes, there's there's the most common reason is that the state mismanaged the fund. They don't have enough money and they raise everybody's rates. So you might still be paying the lowest rate possible but they raised it on you anyway. <coughs> that happened to us in Illinois. They've since come down, but it more than doubled for us one year. Um, even though we had the lowest rate possible, it, it doubled on us because the state mismanaged it so poorly. Um, they didn't have enough money in the funds that they had to, they had to tag it onto everyone. That's a good question. That's probably anyway. what's going on with us then. All right. Anyone else have any questions? Okay, great. So let me just follow up with, I have a Facebook group where we have like-minded business owners. There's going to be a link in this document for you to do it. Again, book your free one-on-one -on -one laser coaching call with me. The first one, 30 minutes is free. With the coaching, you get, you know, 
someone who's going to keep you accountable to your dreams and desires. You're going to have someone to guide you and light you through some unfamiliar um, terrain. And um, when you join, you're going to get my employee management system. So you're going to get a, your first month of coaching plus your, my employee management system, which includes this, my standards of conduct, my policies and procedures, my safety and security manual, my progressive discipline system that I just talked about, the code of honor and a recovery action guide, right? It's $219 for the first month, fully refundable. If on the 29th day, you are not happy with any of it, I'll refund everything. And then if you wish to continue, it's $129 a month after that. Um, and it, and it, it has helped so many salons, particularly salon owners in getting past this, their stuck points where like, I just don't know how to get past the point where I'm at right now. I don't know how I'm struggling doing this on my own. I don't know where, what direction to go. I, I'm not sure how to market something. I don't know if my pricing is correct. I'm not sure how uh, to pay my employees. You know, all these questions, you know, I've been, I've been going through since 1988. I have a lot of it figured out. Some of it will figure it out together. But a lot of it is, has been been figured out. So with that said, I'll send you all of this with all the links. You'll get everything that happened today. I will you'll you'll get you'll get a access to this video. So you get the replay video so you can look at it over again. And again, I highly recommend booking your first one, free one on one laser coaching call. You don't have anything to lose to do that cost you nothing and we can figure out if um, we are a fit and if it is something that you would like to do more of in the future all right do we have any more questions before we wrap this up okay thank you everyone um, we do this every wednesday uh, we try to cover different topics but sometimes the same topics keep coming up, so we will continue to um, covering some repeat topics. But uh, again, if you book the one-on-one -on -one coaching call, we can address your particular items that are really um, paining you and if they aren't necessarily being addressed in the group. Oh, you all have a great day, and uh, I hope you have a successful off-season. Bye now. <laughs>